So you gave me this prototype for me to look at. This would be like things we would get before Spark Truck comes. So first I wanted to see like what I was supposed to do before you guys came, like the pre Spark Truck stuff. Um, and so it looked like the thing that you guys were going to do, your agenda, was something I could have started. Were you to come here, I thought it was well planned out and like clear what you were going to do. Yeah, it wasn't clear what I was supposed to do to prepare them for this. So I would have wanted something like this, but like a, like a pre-workshop, okay. like where you guys come in, but like same format of like do this, like you need these materials, things like that. This in like a full page of like teacher do this, this, and this, and like talk specifically about this. If you all were to come, mm -hmm. I would want to know like what is going to happen like when you're here so mm -hmm. I can prepare them for that. I'm thinking about how my class would do this. I feel like I would want them to do the brainstorming part once before, before you guys come because I feel like this you only a lot like an hour and a half or something, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think it's like, because they don't do this type of stuff normally, so like they would need like a day to just like practice doing it and then be ready to do it and like know what to do when you get here. They have a hard time because we don't really ask them, like we don't really do art or anything, so that like whenever they have an opportunity to be creative, some of them have a hard time with it, just mm -hmm. like, because they're not used to it. Yeah. Or like they don't, they're not sure what is expected of them. Yeah. Um, so I think having the brainstorming practice would help them and then they could do it again and they would be ready to do it and then you can spend more time with the actual like building. Cool. But I think like the planning would be hard for them. Like they would need, that would be a good like pre-truck visit. In yeah. terms of like thinking about how the kids would handle it, I think it would be helpful um, also to have like something about like expectations or like how students should be working or like what they should be prepared to do, like group work and stuff. Like if you had those things, because I feel like for my class, I would have wanted to talk about, like, if we're working in groups, you need to do this, this, and this. Um, and, like, be able, you need to be, like, showing these qualities. So I feel like the what I would have done in the pre-meeting is, like, show them this and then, like, tell them, like, this is what you need to act like when these people come. Okay. But that is, like, specifically for my class, I guess. Okay. But I think that also, if you give... If you make it clear how you want the class to go mm -hmm. and have the teacher like go over those expectations before, that would also make it like easier for you. Okay. Most teachers maybe don't need the like like a list of like your expectations or like how you want the kids to act, but um, like all here you just have the agenda. I feel like if you want like if you had a list of like teachers, be prepared to have kids like work in groups, like work in partners, do all that mm -hmm. stuff. That would help teachers like set up those doors for the kids. If I'm supposed to go out and get this, mm -hmm. I want to know where I should get them. It would be hard to implement something that like spans beyond the classroom. Mm -hmm. I think you could do this kind of work in here, uh, but some of the stuff that's at the end is talking about like school-wide changes, and mm -hmm. that is a little harder too.